a nice afternoon uh, up until about an hour ago or so ahead of our turkey day tomorrow. And we're apparently not done with the rain just yet, as we've seen all over the area. A live look down Independence Boulevard in East Charlotte, showing commuters making that final drive home or wherever they're going before the Thanksgiving holiday. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane. Yeah, and Tara, we're seeing a little bit of rain out there right now. When are things yes. going to see uh, be dry again? Because we saw some really dark clouds and some mm -hmm. hail just pouring here a little while ago. All of this will be moving out certainly much, much earlier than last night and earlier this morning, of course, when we still had some lingering showers. And uh, I am happy to report, too, that it is clearing away from the airport. We have nothing additional coming in and for the Thanksgiving parade as well. The Thanksgiving Eve parade kicking off in uptown here in a little bit. It will stay dry for the remainder of the evening there. However, it's a different story. South and east of Charlotte Union County still seeing the heavy rain in spots, especially just to the east of Indian land and heading down 521 into Lancaster and still some signs that this line of storms could be producing some at least pea sized tail piling up. We've seen lots of pictures and video of that here today, so that's heading into Lancaster, Tradesville, Monroe, seeing the moderate to heavy rain, still some occasional lightning too. So as soon as you hear the rumbles, you need to keep it inside until all of this passes. Again, it is moving through quickly, so it will be out of here shortly. Chesterfield, some rain there, and this line is moving away from you all in Lancaster and Chesterfield counties there to the south and east. And this is really just the main cluster of storms, the one kind of isolated cluster across the Piedmont and heading into the Sand Hills right now. Widespread heavy rain from earlier headed offshore with that front. So the reason we have this today is an upper level disturbance, pretty vigorous one, obviously, with the colder temperatures and the higher levels of the atmosphere and helping to get some of that hail falling down to the ground. So that will be out of here shortly, and we tap into some nice clearing tonight. Of course, it's nice to see more of that needed rain over the past 24 to 36 hours or so, picking up one to even close to three inches. Again, it's still falling in several neighborhoods. We did get a new update on the drought monitor today, a day early because tomorrow is a holiday, of course, Thanksgiving Day. And this does not take into account the rainfall from yesterday. So we'll likely see a little bit of maybe a trimming back of some of the severe and more expanded extreme drought footprint that is in place this week up through Burke County, Cleveland County, and down through more of upstate South Carolina. How much longer will this last? Just for another couple of hours, few hours or so. By 6, 7, 8 o'clock, most of it's heading out of here, sliding off to the east. And certainly by, oh, say, 8, 30, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock or so, everything will be drier, except for maybe a few lingering sprinkles up there in the mountains with those clouds. We've got a cool 56 degrees west-southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour, relative humidity 87%. Chillier temperatures for you all in the high country, upper 30s right now. Meantime, still sitting in the low to mid 60s in places like Concord, Admirals at 61, 61 degrees in Lancaster before that rain moves on in. A chillier night and morning coming up as we kick off Thanksgiving Day tomorrow. As the sky clears and the wind settles a little more, temperatures will be allowed to tumble into the upper 30s for official lows. But if you're headed out to the Charlotte Turkey Trot, an annual tradition for so many people stepping off at South Park Mall there at 8 o'clock in the morning. Charlotte area, South Charlotte. Temperatures will be chilly in the 40s. Of course, you start to warm up and maybe wearing the longer sleeve uh, running shirt or something. You start to warm up pretty quickly. Mostly sunny and the wind will not be too bad. Uh, coming out of the north at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thanksgiving going into the afternoon. You're putting the turkey in the oven. We'll have a nice helping of sunshine. A cool turkey. Hopefully not cool when you're eating it, not too cool, but it will be cool outside right around 60 degrees. And if you're heading out for any Black Friday shopping the day after Thanksgiving, it's going to be a chilly start if you're up and out at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. Temperatures in the 40s by later in the morning, partly cloudy sky outside of the shopping centers and the malls, about 51 degrees. And then by the afternoon, you'll still be maybe walking out with the dry shopping bags. No threat of rain on the way with those temperatures around 60. It's actually going to be cooler for the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, highs only in the low and mid-50s, mostly dry and a little breezy for Saturday too.